Oh, you don't have the image. So what do you think? Do you want to see an example of the IP is? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Um, was that on your test? Yes. Yeah. And was GP on it? Yes. Yeah. We'll start with IP then, yeah? Okay. So if you want to open up the book there. Word hmm? the, word the word problems are, yeah, the word problems are a little bit later. Well, I was going to start from the beginning of IP. Yeah, that's what you want, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, tell me what you think. Would you be happy with an example from each question? Or is that too much? Or it's okay? It's okay? Okay. So we'll look at one egg. So... Um, the A is called the first term, and the D is called the common difference. So, I don't think this question is too hard to begin with. The meaning of A is whatever term is first in the sequence. So, for this sequence, 0, 4, 8, what would that be? Are you sure? Oh, the A, the A, yeah. The A is 0. And the D is the difference between the terms, and that one is a 4 here. Is that okay? You seem okay with that? You're looking confused? It's okay? Alright, so let's move on to the next one then, yeah? Okay, so now we'll get a little bit harder. Minus 9, minus 14, minus 19. Okay, what's the A here for this one? Minus nine. Minus nine. Now, if you have trouble figuring out the D, the way you can do this on the calculator is you type in this number minus this number. Yeah, so minus 14 minus minus nine is minus five. Okay? Now, let's get the UN. So the UN is, uh, well, let me see. Does anyone remember the formula for UN? You do, yeah? What is it? Yeah? Do you guys remember that formula from class? So here, the A is minus 9. The N you don't know. And the D is minus 5. Oh, what should I do next? Yeah, open the brackets. Yeah, simplify. Yeah, So that's minus 9 minus 5n. What's next? Plus 5. Plus 5. Uh, minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. So the answer is minus 4 minus 5n. That's the formula for the nth term. You seem okay with this. Is uh, this example okay? Yeah? Do you need to write it down? No. Some do. So we'll wait a moment. Do you remember what the question was in the exam? For this for this one? Yeah, and they also said AP as well. Yeah, but my question is, uh, do you remember what you did in AP in the exam? Yes, I remember the question. You do? Yeah, yeah. what was it about? It was about, if you first calculate you in your calculate SM. You had to get so UN and S out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I meant to say, I, I, I'm sorry, I wrote 1B, I meant to say 2A, and this one is 3A. Okay, let's have a look at three. Mm, yes, no, you need a minute? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? Okay, 3a. Now, we're getting harder. 9, 18, 27, dot, 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 and then you finish at 126. And we want to work out how many terms we have. We don't know how many we have. Oh, obviously, we have it more than four. We just skipped a lot. So, uh, any ideas from anybody on how we work this one out? Yeah? We had it. The one we had it is the last thing. So, you do A minus 1, no D plus A or something. Yes. Not 100% sure if that's it. Is the term, yeah. So, what, so we're all clear we have to do something with the 126. So what do we say the 126 equals? Last term. The last term. And what is yeah. the formula for the last term? Or the nth term? Yeah, go on. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Now, do we know the A here? We do. Yeah. What's Nine. the A? Nine. 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 And do we know the D? Yes. We do. What is it? Nine. Nine. So we have 1, 2, 6 equals 9 plus 8 minus 1 times 9. Okay, I'll have 1, 2, 6 equals 9 plus 9n minus 9. Okay? Uh, that's nice because 9 minus 9 is gone. So you have 1, 2, 6 equals 9n. So finally, it's... 1, 2, 6 divided by 9. So what's that, 16? No, 14. Uh, 14? So 14 terms then. Yeah? Okay, you sh should write that down if you, if you need to write that down. Now they're not as easy as the 1 and 2. Yeah? You all have that? Okay. Now, 4a. The seventh term is minus 13, and the seventeenth term is minus 23. What's the a and the d? So I tell you that the seventh term is minus 13, and the seventeenth term is minus 23 and I want the A and the D yeah okay who has an idea of what we could do first here E yeah plus yeah C. yeah good you're using the formula here and you can do the same thing here uh, let's see um, yeah, you have this. Let's see if someone else can give it. So you got the first one. Good job. What would the second one be? A, A plus. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. So we have two equations now. Can you? S you look confused, Abdulaziz. Confused? Yeah. Tell me what's confusing you. Well, from, the <laughs> from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> right. So look. In the question, can you see it says the seventh term is minus 13? Yeah. That's this here. And can you also see it says the 17th term is minus 23? That's this here. Can you see that uh, to change it into this, we use the formula A plus N minus 1 D? Can you write one? Oh, yeah. A plus N minus 1 D equals minus 13. Is that okay? Are you sure? Okay. So I have a plus 16d equals minus 23, and a plus 6d equals minus 13. So what do I do next? I think you use That's it, simultaneous equations, yeah. So if I simultaneous equations here, that's 10d equals minus 10, if I minus them because they cancel. So what do I get for D? 
minus one. Yeah. So it makes a modern calculates in this question. We're looking for a and d. Okay, we're looking for a and d. Yeah. So we have d now. Yeah. A plus 60. Oh, because n is 7. 7 minus 1. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and here it's 16d because it's 17 minus 1. Is it okay? Yeah. Are you sure? 100% sure? Okay. Right. Uh, what do I do next? Well, you tell me what to do next. How can I get the A? Apple Z's. So we have the now, we can write for the uh, A. Yeah. And then we have Do we? We do. Uh, just put this back in here. Sub it back in. So it'd be a plus 16 times minus 1 equals minus 23. Yeah. So you get a equals uh, a minus 16 equals minus 23. So a equals minus 23 plus 16. Minus 7. Yes, thank you. Minus seven. Yeah. Now we're getting into a little bit more difficult. Okay. That's number four. Number five now is a sum. We'll do that one now in a moment. Yeah, you got this? Yeah. Where's um Yeah. No more? Did she do well in her test? She didn't do the test and she's not coming. Tomorrow she's going to do the test. She'll do the test tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, you got that over there, guys? I got these. You got, uh, can you scroll down? No. That a yes from both of you? Yeah. Yep, okay. Right, now, five, yeah. Uh, five A in a moment. We're looking for S40. Yeah? Chad, I can scroll down? Yeah, okay. Right. Did you get any of these? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Um, anybody remember the formula for the sum? Yeah. Well, hang on. Let's see if this. Abdul Aziz claims he remembers it. Are you looking at it right now? No, no, no. I, I you remember it? Go for it. Okay, sum. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you looking at it? Do it. Right, hang on. Start again. <laughs> turn, turn the phone upside down. Uh, two over two. Two over two. <laughs> two uh, n. Yeah. Over two. Yeah. Two a. Yeah. Plus n. Yeah. Minus d. Minus one. Yes. D. Okay. Do we believe him? Is he right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's right. Nearly perfect. Okay. An exam would show us this. Uh, it should be in the book. In the book. Yeah, we had this one in the exam. Exactly. And this one was in the exam. Okay. Uh, what's the N here? 40. Number. Yeah, number of terms, which in this case is 40. Okay. What's the A? It's eight. So 2A? What was it? 16. Okay. N minus 1? Uh, 39. 39. And the D? 39. Is three. Uh, so that's twenty times sixteen plus ninety, a hundred and seventeen or something. So that's twenty times. Uh, hundred. Oh my goodness. So that's two six six zero. Oh. I think, I hope. If you have a calculator, it's much easier. 
want to confirm it. Is this okay for you? Yeah. Th it was just like this in the exam? Uh, exactly the same type? Yeah. You don't remember? Did, I mean, you were given all the information, the A, the D, and the N. And were you given the formula too? Because I put yeah. my knowledge down. No, we didn't, we didn't get that, did we? I don't think we saw it. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. You had the formula in your exam? Formula. Huh? Only formula. Yeah, but you had the formula. Yeah. You said only formula. What else were you expecting? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. You said only formula. Well, what else did you want? The answers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Do you have that, Barbara? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Six A. Now, uh, I want the formula S N for this one. Well, it's the same as the last one. It's just you don't know the N. Okay. So here it's N over two. You don't know the N. Okay, uh, two a. What's two a here? Uh, ten. Ten plus n minus one, which is n minus one. Uh, and what's the d here? It's eight. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. That's n over two. Ten plus eight n minus eight. Yeah. Uh, that's n over two. 8n plus 2. There's one more. Th I could do one more thing. I could expand. Okay. So n times n. n squared. N squared. And 8 divided by 2. 4. Four. Uh, and 2 divided by 2 is 1 with the n. So th this is just plus n. If you multiply this into both, yeah, is it okay? Now, which part's confusing you? How how you to uh, so multiply n? Yeah, it's n over two times a n plus n over two times two. Okay, um, how many times does two go into eight? It's four, four. and n multiply n n squared. n squared, and two goes into two. So you're left with just n. All right, write this one down. So that's, uh, what was that? Six. I think we'll, we'll have, good, we'll have time to do GP after this as well. Yeah? Did you see that you open multiplying by two inside brackets? Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Uh, what one are we on now? Seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. Minus eight, minus eleven, minus fourteen, dot, 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 minus one, one, three. So here I want the sum. Uh, I know what the A is. What's the A here? Minus eight. Minus eight. Good. Uh, be careful. What's the D? Minus three. Minus three. What's the n? We don't know. We don't know how many terms we have. So we saw earlier this afternoon how we calculate the n. What do we do to get the n here? We have to look at the last term. We say minus one one three equals. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. G. Minus three. Like earlier. So that's minus one one three equals minus eight minus three n plus three. Minus one one three plus eight minus three equals minus three n. Uh, 
what's that? Minus 116 plus 8. Is that minus 108? Yeah? And then we divide by minus 3. So n is 36. Now that I know the n, at last I can use my formula. The sum is n over 2. 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And then this is the answer. We can type that in, that would be great. I brought the minus three down, yeah. Yeah? Is that okay? Continue? What answer was that there? Two, one, seven, eight. Continue? Yeah. Uh, so now, yeah. Okay. Here? It's okay? Right. 8a. So is that 76 or minus 16? Uh, sorry, minus 16. It was 2a. Uh, 8a now. The sum of the first 19 and 22 terms are 228 and 297. So that means S19 is 228 and S22 is 297. Question? You sure? It's okay. Continue? Yeah. Is that part okay to begin with? I've just read the question and wrote the information out like this. Yeah? So, uh, let's use our formula. What formula do I need here for this one? N the n over 2 one, yeah. So that's 19 over 2, 2a, which I don't know a, plus n minus 1, 18, d. That should equal 2, 2, a. And likewise here, n over 2, 2a plus 21, d should equal two, nine, seven. Yeah. Now we can clean this up a little bit. Uh, what we could do, watch carefully please. Two goes into two once, and two goes into 18 nine times. If you don't like that, you if you like, you can just bring the two up to the right if that makes you happier, okay? Yeah. Uh, n minus 1 and n is 19 then yeah. um, so I can bring the 2 up I can bring the 19 down here here same thing I can bring the 2 up I can bring the 22 down now um, do you mind typing that in for me please does that have a nice neat number It's exactly 20, 24. And what about here? 297 times 2 over 22 should be hopefully nice as well. Twenty-seven. 27, great. This reminds you of something else we did this afternoon. What uh, type of problem do we have now? Um, What's that called? What is it, yeah? Simultaneous. Yeah, simultaneous. So we have 2a plus 21d equals 27, and 2a plus 18d equals 24, and I minus 2a minus 2a, it's gone. 21d minus 18d, 3d. 27 minus 24, 3. So what's d? 
One. And uh, how do I get A? Uh, Sum it in, yeah. Uh, I think... Question? So yeah. in, uh, I don't think it's from that. But Which part? Like how you moved in 18 and 2 to the other side. Oh, well, it was 19 over 2 here. So I, do you know what I mean if I say cross multiply? Yes, sir. Cross multiply. So I brought the 2 up and the 19 down. So it's a cross multiply. Uh, okay, um, so I'll put my d is 1 into this equation. So 2a, and what's 18 times 1? Obviously 18. 2a plus 18 <coughs> equals 24. So 2a equals 24 minus 18, which is 6. So what is a equal to here? It would be 3. So I have my a and my d now. It's a harder one. There's only one lap to do, and then we'll have a look at QP. Scroll down, or you need a minute? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. I got my coffee, so. You guys always look so sleepy. <laughs> like, what class do you have before my class that kills you? For one hour, two hours? Business. Two hours? Business. How much time? <laughs> two, two. <laughs> so you're pretty, your brain is pretty tired now. So I don't think it will change. We have like a nice room between to one. Yeah. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> And you guys, you had two hours of maths before this, was it? Yeah, three for like an hour before that. Do you have class before the maths? Yeah. What was it? Two hours? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, tough day today, so. Yeah. Can I scroll down? No. How was your chemistry exam? Yeah. You're happy with it? And when's the bio exam? Thursday. Thursday. Would that be your favourite subject? <laughs> no? I thought you were all like medicine, science or something, no? Yeah. You're not going to tell me maths is your favourite subject, are you? Maths is my favourite. Zaya, Mark, in our exam, it's maths. Really? Maths is your favourite subject? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> I would have thought maybe you would have said business or economics. No. What about EAP? How's that? It's It's okay. It's okay, yeah. Yeah. I think EAP is the best. Can I scroll down, chat? Scroll down? Uh, like Sorry, I'm going to scroll down. Yeah. That last one, that's 2p plus 18 equals 24. Yeah. That's just this equation. I just wrote them on top of each other because it's simultaneous. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that 2p plus 18 equals 24 is actually like, it's not really important. Which one? That's 2p plus 18 equals Oh, I just wrote it here. So you don't have to write it twice if you don't want to. All right. 9a. Yeah, I, I mean, if you just want to write it once, you don't have to write these twice.
What's this? We did. We did. Okay. What what are you talking about? I have, but it's good to do. Uh, I had three D equals trade. So D equals one. I know you didn't do nine, but it's good to do because it, it could be something on the final exam. So, um, can I do nine now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I wonder, okay, so none of you have done nine. Okay, so let's see if we can work this out together. So I give you three numbers. This is the first number, this is the second number, and this is the third number. And I tell you that those three numbers, they're aromatic. And that's enough information to work out what the x must be. So if I tell you those three numbers are aromatic, what's so special about that? What makes a list of numbers aromatic? An AP. Why would you say this list is AP? What's special about AP? The difference? What about the difference? Between Yeah. Between. I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to like they're consecutive numbers. Oh, okay. Say again, yeah? Yeah, consecutive numbers. Yeah, yeah, we we're, we're have the idea, if we just could get into a sentence. Uh, I think we nearly have it. So yeah, what about the consecutive numbers and the difference? What, what's the specialness of the AP? You have the same, that's the key thing. So when you have a sequence that's AP, the difference is the same. Okay, so like for example, if you had four, six, eight, what's the difference here? Two, and the difference here? Two. Also two. So if we use that logic, the difference between these two should be the same as the difference between the other two. Make sense? Yeah, so that means three minus four X minus two plus nine X, good. That should equal minus four plus six X minus three minus four X. Because we're saying the difference at the first two is the same as the difference for them the next two. They're equal difference. Yeah? I think you get the idea here? Yeah? Yeah? Up those these? You get it? You guys get it here? Yeah? So now I just solve. So this is 3 minus 4x minus 2 minus 9x equals minus 4 plus 6x minus 3. Oh, careful. Plus 4x. Plus 4x. Oh, okay. Double minuses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how about we take all the x's to the left and all the numbers to the right? So on the left I have minus 4x minus 9x. Minus 6x, minus 4x, good. And on the right, I have minus 4, minus 3, good, good. If I just rearrange as necessary. Um, right, so what's that? That is minus something, all right. Minus 19, oh, jabers, minus, minus 23x. Is that right? Ba, 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 minus 13, minus, I think it's minus 23. Uh, minus 20 this is an 8, is it? Minus 8. Minus 8. Very good. So, huh? The last question on AP. Is minus 8? So then x equals minus 8 over minus 23, which is 8 over 23, and it doesn't simplify. Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> all right, you should all write this down carefully. So, you're surprised. You're right. Okay.
Yeah? Let's go on to GP. Okay, so 1A for GP. Um, we have 7 minus 14 and 28. And I want the A and the R. And the A is the first term. And what's the R called? Ratio, yeah. So what's the A for this one? Seven. Seven. And careful, what's Seven. the R? Minus two. Minus two. Minus two, yeah. I think everybody is okay with that? Yeah. Okay, 2A. Uh, find the formula here for this one. Right, now let's see. Well, I'm wondering if, uh, since Abdul Aziz says maths is his favourite, and he remembered the last formula. <laughs> I think it is. Yes. Uh, what's the second? I thought it was. Or? Yeah. You forgot the name of this. <laughs> okay. Or? Uh, N minus one. Yes, okay, very good. All right. Um, you should remember the names of your letters. It's useful to know this. No, but you say like something. Or. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know the letter. Okay, all right. I was worried about you. I thought you didn't know the letter name. Uh, yeah, common ratio. Uh, okay, so um, over here, guys. Uh, what's the A here? 10. And the or? Good. And minus 1. Now you can leave the answer like this, but you can clean it up a little bit. I wonder if anybody knows how to clean this answer up a little bit. <laughs> 10 times 2n, good. Good, okay, yeah. And we, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. And I would like to put that like this. Yeah. So if you have 2 power n minus 1, you can change it into 2n over 2 power 1. That's one of your rules. You've done your rules of powers? Today. Recently. Yeah, yesterday, but it was not trying to get everything. But you, you've done... You've, You've done this rule, xm minus n is xm over yeah, xm, yeah. That's the rule I'm using for this one. Yeah. What page are you on? What lesson? 48. Yeah, what's that one called? Because my name is... What is it? Rules of logs. And what lesson are you on? 48. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what can I do here? To, to clean it up? One last thing? Cancel. Cancel? Yeah. yeah, cancel. So what would I get at the end here? Five times 2n, like that, yeah. Which is probably how I have it at the back, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good, good. We have time for more. Let's have a look at 3A next. Can I scroll down? Now, how many terms are in this sequence? So, this is similar to the one we did earlier. What's the trick here? You have to make the last term equal to the formula yeah so let's do that minus 256 equals a what's a here minus 2 times or what's or here 2 power n minus 1 is in the formula yeah what should I do next to try and simplify this can you write the formula yes well, I thought you knew the formula very good, very good. <laughs> right. <laughs> what should I do next? Minus two times two. 
Uh, I won't expand because I have a power. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the minus two down. So I have minus two five six over minus two. Just divide. Uh, what's that? One hundred twenty-eight. Yes. Now, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Two power seven. Seven, nearly. Two power seven equals two power n minus one. Yeah, the two's cancelled, so in the end you get n equals. Six. Other way. Eight. Yeah. And the exam is the first form? Yes. In the formula book. Yeah. Did you not have your formulas in your exam? I have, but I think about the final. Yeah, you will. We didn't. We didn't. Who's your teacher? John. John. Yeah. Uh, I recommend, and uh, you had your formula? Yeah, I recommended to Joan and Carmen, I, they said I might give them my students formulas, and I said no. And I said I think you should do the same. Welcome so, uh, uh, I guess Joan uh, agreed and said, you know what, that's a good <laughs> idea, no formulas. But uh, you got formulas. <laughs> so, uh, lucky for you, so. The reason... I thought it was a good idea not to have formulas is because I was trying to get you guys to memorize the formulas. It's good. It, you have the formula book in the final exam and that's good, but you don't really want to waste too much time trying to find the formula in the book, you know? It's kind of good if you know some of the formulas off by heart. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Imagine how much time you waste if you have to look up every formula for every question. You know, it's just, it's, it's a waste of time. You know, uh, okay, uh, let's see. We, we'll probably continue with GP next time. And I have a strong feeling you might even want to probably jump to doing the yeah. uh, practical problems, the word ones. You know those ones? Yeah. They were hard. They were hard for you? This is so stupid. It's maths. It's You know, Abdulaziz, maths appears in many subjects, in chemistry, business, economics, you can see it everywhere.